can't win. That is like a built-in in-house promo. My man Keith Weisrick, watch him. Hey, everybody, what's up? It's Tuesday night, the day after Memorial Day. We are all jacked up. We're going to let it rip tonight on the show, big time. We got big time guests. We got big time music because it's the summer. We got three of these left before then. Really, we have four because we have a pregame show that we're going to do before Boomer's All-Star Game, and the big lefty from East Islip will be buying a loss. First loss after 16 victories. Huntington will move on to play Shoreham Wading River. As you are well aware, a couple of weeks ago on Lax Live, Jimmy Cavallo opened his mouth on live television, letting all of us know just how old head coach Tom Rotance's mom is. Well, the coach has settled things with his mother, but the mom is still very upset with Jimmy. Well, you want to say a little about Mike Quick and uh, Jimmy Cavallo? Uh, Jimmy who? <laughs> he's the one. You're right. He's on your. He's on your bad list. He's not even on my list. <laughs> okay, good. And, uh... Oh, that's enough. <laughs> you have to pre appreciate Mama Rotance's honesty. Sometimes Cavallo can talk a little much. Hey, you know what? Now, Jim, you spent some time with uh, a pretty guy, a pretty good guy who's done some great things, not only on the lacrosse field, but uh, with his family, Tommy Rotance. Yeah, Tommy Rotance, we know him as a Hall of Fame lacrosse coach here from Long Island Shore and Wading River. We're prepping for his game a week ago. He tells the story of losing his father at age seven in 1968. His mother, Lorraine Rotance Augustine, the mother of three boys. She would become the ultimate lacrosse mom, never missing a game while holding down a job. They lost their father way too soon. A decorated war veteran died in the line of duty, NYPD. So what better way on this Memorial Week to take a look at one of Long, Long Island's all-time greats, Tommy Rotance and his family. For Tom Rotance, it's a day that starts out like so many others, raising the flag at his Shoreham, New York home. The flagpole has been in the Rotance family for 45 years. Tom Rotance is a Long Island lacrosse lifer. In his nearly 20 years at Shore Waning River, he has turned the Wildcats into a Long Island power. I can't wow. be more proud of a group of young men ever, ever. 17 hours ago, I was concerned we didn't have enough gas in the tank. Let me tell you something, guys. You put this in another notch, I, I tell you, I'm forever indebted because this is going to go down as one of the greatest games in Shoreham history. His playing days were spent at one of the island's shrines to the game, Ward Melville, where Rotance was an All-American defender for the Patriots. Final 10 seconds. Good pass in front. Look at this one. Tommy Rotance from his baby brother. And for Team Rotance, lacrosse is family. His sons, Tom and Tim, they are two big reasons why the Wildcats will play for a title. Quick stick in front, and he's got one. Timmy Rotance into the back of the cage. To celebrate where Tom and his boys are going with this game, you must first acknowledge where he came from. For five decades, Lorraine Rotance Augustine has been watching lacrosse. And although her seat has changed, her understanding and dedication remain the same. A lax mom like none other. Yay! She never cared about um, the winning part. She just wanted to make sure that, that we gave it our best. And um, she looked forward to it because I guess we excelled. It was um, at Ward Melville. That's what everyone did was go to lacrosse games. And I guess she was fortunate enough that my brother Bob and I um, excelled. And it wasn't too hard when you have Joe Cuso and, and Ray Martens as your coaches. But it was, um, and it becomes a family. Yay! She was there for her sons in the sports. Uh, lacrosse, it was new, it was novel, it was interesting, and it's tough. And uh, yeah, she's sitting in the bleachers there cringing and turning her head away when you heard some uh, you know, bone crunching plays. She could tell you all the penalties, all the uh, aspects of the game, and uh, keeping out of the crease, and clearing the ball. I got ball, so uh, no, she's well versed in lacrosse. And through all the good times for the Rotance family on the lacrosse field, it's this time of year when spring turns to summer. Memorial Day, they reflect. Richard Rotance Sr. died in the line of duty as an NYPD detective in 1968. Tom Rotance was just nine years old. It was, um, it's still emotional. It's, um, it's been 43 years and you just don't get over it. You know, it's, um, 
I look at um, my brother Bob and I, successful in lacrosse, um, high school and college All-Americans, and uh, my brother Richie, a very um, decorated uh, fireman in the FDNY. He never saw it. He never saw us ever succeed. But Coach Rotance lives every day knowing his dad was all in as an American. He earned a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star with a V as a Master Sergeant for the U.S. Army's 24th Division, 19th Regiment. He fought in the Korean War with duty and honor. And 42 years after his death, his legacy? A proud American father of three boys who gave them a mother who never missed a day. He's never met my wife, my kids. I feel cheated, but you know, that's what happens. And you know, do you could do the woe is me or do you, you work hard to hopefully if he's looking down, he's proud of us. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, you know, Timmy and Tommy Rotance, who will play tomorrow night in this uh, Suffolk County Championship. They never met their grandfather. Of course, he died long before they were born. But all those great photos uh, that you see in that piece right there were in the Rotance family in Shoreham. So even though they never met him, uh, you get the feeling they know their grandfather very well. And their grandmother still dislikes you. <laughs> I don't know. We got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> yeah, I, I called her Mama Rotan. She didn't like that. She said, that sounds like the name of a pizzeria. <laughs> okay. Right. And she's not I... the first one to say Jimmy Who. I get that at home. Georgie, out there.